Hi, today we're gonna do a love bug for Valentine's Day. So what we need is to start with our cake portion. Okay, now this is how I bake my cakes because I have a big full confection oven. This is a full sheet tray um, with, um, I'm just using a cream cake here because it's a pretty nice and firm cake. Um, but this is just, um, like I said, it's a cream cake. A cream cake is a yellow cake. And I have a full sheet pan. What you guys could do, if um, since this probably wouldn't fit in your oven, you can either bake two half sheet pans. These pans are about an inch high. Um, I get these at um, out here on the West Coast. We have uh, Sam's Club who sells these, and we also have Smart and Final. But any kind of restaurant supply store um, near you would carry these. And um, if you don't have these, you can just use your regular half sheet cake pan. Um, because basically this full sheet cake becomes a half sheet rather than me splitting a half sheet in half. I bake a full one, cut it down the center, flip this over, and then it becomes a half sheet. All right, so for the bug, what we need is a quarter sheet cake board, okay, to put our cake on. And what I do first is I'm just going to cut this right in half. And this cake isn't, um, this is pretty much at room temperature now because I drove it here about an hour. Um, I actually prefer to carve this and everything while this is frozen, but I just don't have the luxury of a freezer in, in this house that this full sheet um, fits in. And plus I didn't have time to refreeze it. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this in half like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take one of these out, take a little bit of buttercream and place it on my cake board. and flip it on over. Okay, take the paper off, put a little bit more buttercream on here. If you want to put filling in it, you can go ahead and put, uh, fill it in this area here. The thing you would need to do is put a dam of stiffened buttercream around it first and don't go all the way to the edge actually go inward see how I didn't bother icing all around the red edge because it, we're going to be carving this and that cake's not even going to end up being there later okay now on this one what I'm going to do is so this part was the thicker part and on here this was the thicker part so I'll flip it over this way like so off the paper and more buttercream again just kind of in this middle section because I'm going to end up carving the rest of that off now this cake part right here I can actually just cut this I'm not going to need all of it I can kind of just uh, divide it into three sections here and I think I'll take this one's taller, so I'll take this, this one. Okay. What I want to do before I put this on is I'm going to put a, a little cardboard in to support the weight here. This is going to mainly be the bottom part of the car, and now we're going to get to the top part up here. And if I put um, something to support it here, it'll do two things. It'll help support it so when I put the fondant over it, it won't you know, sink down that much um, over you know, as it sits. And another thing, it's gonna be easier for you to cut it. So you can cut, um, serve the top portion of the car and then take off the cardboard and serve the bottom portion of the car. Okay, so let me just get a piece of cardboard. Here. 